All right, guys. So I want to give everybody a rundown. That's what's going on here. Um, my emotions are running a little high right now. Bear with me, guys. So. In 2011 when I found out my grandma was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and and it turned my world upside down pretty quick and then like two weeks before Christmas in 2011 <coughs> I ran into a classmate of mine and I told her I found out my grandma had cancer and I just started crying right there in the middle of Walmart. Because it's like, I, in the back of my head, I knew something was going to happen. My grandma said, if something ever happened to me, this is what my grandma told me. She said, if something ever happened to her, she wanted me to play her with Sunshine and Amazing Grace at her funeral. So not only did I have to uh, do double duties, meaning help carry the casket and play, you know, play the piano, um, <coughs> that was a very tough day for me, guys. Um, still fresh in my mind, even though it's been five years almost. be five years on June 5th. So, let's get into it. So, I'll run down on your arm of sunshine real quick. The reason why I like that song so much is because my grandma used to sing that song to me as a little chi as a child growing up, <clears throat> and I would not go to sleep unless I heard that song. I wouldn't sleep for anything, and uh, you know I'm still like that. And I'm 29 years old, and I still like "You Are My Sunshine," and I always will. It's a childhood memory there. Um, and Yard My Sunshine was one of the very first songs my grandma ever taught me how to play on piano. And grandma, if you're listening, I love you and I miss you. Saying goodbye forever, so until we meet again, rest in peace. <coughs> um, so what we're going to do is play Amazing Grace first. And Yard My Sunshine, let's do it. Um, Playing in the key of D. <laughs> Sunshine. <coughs> you are my son. 